Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, it's all about coffee. I've got a ton of really great keto coffee recipes for you today. A lot of you don't know this, but I am actually a coffee fanatic. Most days I do not drink just one cup of coffee. I'm drinking two, three, and four cups of coffee, mostly because I fast for the majority of the day, or at least food fast, where I don't eat any solid food, and instead I drink coffee. And I like drinking coffee because it helps curb my appetite, gives me a ton of energy because caffeine, and then I'm just less food focused because I'm not making food or eating food, I'm not thinking about food, so I just end up being more productive and getting more done during the day by drinking coffee. Anyways, today I'm showing you my best keto coffee recipes. I will show you how to make bulletproof keto coffee. We will do a keto cafe mocha. I'll show you a spiced keto coffee recipe. And then lastly, we will wrap everything up with a Starbucks inspired keto coffee drink. We will be making a caramel macchiato that is totally keto. So make sure you stick around for the end of this video so you don't miss out on that keto macchiato deliciousness. That said, let's get right into the good stuff make some keto coffee. All right, the first thing we need to do to make these keto coffee recipes is make some coffee. So I'm going with some Cafe Bustelo coffee today, and I'm gonna add about a third of a cup or 30 grams of it to my coffee maker. Then I'm going to get my water together, and I'm gonna add three cups or about 700 milliliters of it to a measuring cup and add that to the coffee maker as well. Now at this point, it's time to just sit back, relax, and let the coffee maker brew some coffee. That said, you could always use a Keurig to make your coffee, a French press, a Nespresso machine, or literally anything else that makes coffee to make your coffee. However, once it's done brewing, that's when you want to add some keto magic to it. So the first keto coffee recipe I'm going to show you how to make is going to be my version of bulletproof coffee. Basically, you want to add four ounces or 120 milliliters of black coffee to a cup along with a half a teaspoon or two grams of ghee or butter. I like to use this stuff though, the ghee, because it gives the Bulletproof coffee a wonderfully nutty taste. Then, of course, we'll have to add some of this, some MCT oil, and this stuff will not only help you feel full, but it can also help increase your ketone levels as well. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon or two grams of it for today's Bulletproof coffee recipe. Then to sweeten up our coffee without adding any carbs, we're gonna add a half a tablespoon or six grams of confectioner swerve. And then lastly, I like to hit my coffee with just a tiny bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Now, at this point, you can be basic and stir your bulletproof coffee up with a spoon, or you can take your coffee to a whole different level by mixing everything together with a frother like this. So what I like to do is transfer my coffee to a measuring cup, of course, spilling it all over my counter while I'm doing it. And then when I've got the coffee added to the cup, I'll pop my frother in there and frothifies my bulletproof coffee for just about a minute or two. And then as you're seeing here, I'll just pour my keto coffee back into my cup, except this time you'll notice there's a wonderfully delicious foam at the top of my cup. Anyways, that my friends is how to make my bulletproof coffee recipe. All right, the next coffee recipe I'm gonna show you how to make, it's for all my fellow chocolate lovers out there, and that is the Keto Cafe Mocha. For this recipe, wanna get out a measuring cup and add a teaspoon or two grams of unsweetened cocoa powder to it. Then we're gonna sweeten up our Keto Cafe Mocha by adding two tablespoons or 18 grams of confectioner swerve. And lastly, we're gonna add a pinch of salt to really bring out the chocolate flavor in this coffee. Now, as you're seeing here, We'll also wanna add four ounces or 120 milliliters of coffee, along with around two ounces or 60 milliliters of the milk of your choice, which for me is unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Now, at this point, we're all set to mix everything together, so I'm getting my frother out and frothifizing my Keto Cafe Mocha until it's well blended. And then once it is, I'm gonna transfer it to my coffee cup, add a little bit of Keto whipped cream to the top of it, along with a simple Keto chocolate drizzle. And that, my friends, is how to make a keto cafe mocha. By the way, huge pro tip for everybody who love, love, loves chocolate like I do. If you wanna add more chocolate deliciousness to that keto cafe mocha, what I've been doing lately is I've been adding keto chocolate chips, some zero net carb chocolate chips, like these semi-sweetened ones from Lily's. I've been adding them to my coffee cup right before I add the hot cafe mocha to it. 
And let me tell you guys, those chocolate chips, they melt, they dissolve into the Keto Cafe Mocha, and it is so, so good. Like, I don't even think I can make the Keto Cafe Mocha without the chocolate chips anymore because it just makes it so much more chocolatey and the more chocolate, the better. So if you love chocolate, give that a shot. And if you try it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so the next coffee recipe we're doing is a spiced keto coffee. And this thing, obviously great to make during the fall, but really any cold day is a great day to make this coffee recipe. And it really just has the most incredible balance of spiciness, nuttiness, and bold coffee flavor that you're sure to be obsessed with. So to make this, the first thing we're going to do is add four ounces or 120 milliliters of coffee to a measuring cup. Next, we're gonna add some sweetness and flavor by using some sugar-free vanilla syrup like this. And for today's spiced keto coffee recipe, wanna add a tablespoon or 14 grams of it. Once we've added that, we'll wanna add some milk. Again, I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk and we're gonna add just less than two ounces or 50 milliliters of it. We're also gonna add one and a half tablespoons or 15 grams of confectioner swerve to sweeten the coffee up without adding any carbs. Then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon or two grams of ghee to not only add a little fat to the coffee, but nutty flavor as well. And speaking of flavor, we're also gonna add a pinch of salt along with a tiny pinch of ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. By the way, a little bit of those spices goes a long, long way, so be sure to add just a pinch of them. Anyways, as you're seeing here, I am frothifying my keto spiced coffee, and once I start to see a nice thick foam starting to form, that's when I'm gonna transfer the coffee to a cup and then just sprinkle the tiniest bit of cinnamon on the top of it. And that is how to make my spiced keto coffee. The last keto coffee recipe we're doing is the Starbucks-inspired caramel macchiato, except we're just, we're keto -fying it. And let me tell you, when you taste this thing, you're gonna have a hard time believing that this is a low-carb keto macchiato. It's just, it's so good. I can't wait to see what you guys think of this thing. Let's make this macchiato. Okay, so macchiatos are actually espresso-based drinks, not coffee. So I'll be using my Nespresso machine to make this recipe. And let me tell you guys, I love, love, love this thing. It's way better than a Keurig. So if you're living that Keurig life, you need to add this to your wish list. That said, if you don't have an espresso machine, I guess you could always use instant espresso for your keto macchiato instead. But for my coffee, I'll be using the Valesso pod, which is a light, mild, and sweet Arabica bean espresso. Anyways, we're gonna start this recipe by making the caramel sauce for our keto macchiato. So as you're seeing here, wanna get out some butter, slice up about a half a tablespoon or seven grams of it, and then add it to a small dish. Then we're also gonna need some Swerve brown sugar substitute, which has zero carbs and zero calories, and we'll wanna add one and a half tablespoons or 14 grams of it to the dish as well. And then lastly, we're gonna turn up the salted caramel flavor to 11 by adding a half a tablespoon or seven grams of this sugar-free caramel syrup. Now we'll wanna melt that down in the microwave real quick, and when that's looking melted, we're gonna give our sauce a quick stir with a spatula, and then we're gonna add about half of it to our coffee cup. Once we've done that, it's time to brew up some espresso, and the drink is actually a double espresso coffee drink, so we'll need to brew two shots or about three ounces of espresso for the drink. While the espresso is brewing though, we can get our milk ready, so we're gonna add an equal amount of milk three ounces or 90 milliliters of it to a measuring cup. And then we're going to heat that up for about a minute in our microwave. So when it's done warming up, we wanna get our frother out and you guessed it, frothifies the milk. And when it's looking frothy, we're gonna pour it into our espresso and top it with all of that foam deliciousness that we have left over. Now, the caramel sauce that we made earlier can harden up during this whole process. So as you're seeing here, we're gonna add a little bit more of that sugar-free syrup from earlier. Give it a good mix, and then once it's looking good, drizzle it all over the top of the foam like this. And that, my friends, is how to make a keto caramel macchiato like the ones you get from Starbucks. So those are some of my best keto coffee recipes for you guys. I hope you enjoy them. If I had to choose a favorite out of all the ones we did today, I think I'm going with the last one, the caramel macchiato. There's just something about it that is so, so good, and it doesn't taste low carb or keto at all. Actually, I think I know what it is about it. It's that there's caramel sauce and whipped cream, and I'm a sucker 
for both those things. That said, let me know which one of these you want to try first in the comments below. As always, if you want more information about today's keto coffee recipes, check the video description. There's more information down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.